One of the great new features included in Act 2011 is the introduction of Smart Tasks, which helps you to automate uh, workflow. What I mean by that is that you can now uh, create activities within ACT and generate emails to clients either through uh, Outlook in the normal way or by using ACT eMarketing, the swift page email marketing engine that's built into ACT. Um, and these things can all be triggered automatically based upon characteristics of either contact records or sales opportunities. Let me give you a simple example of what I mean. So here's a, a contact uh, screen where we've got a field called support contract renewal date. So if we imagine that uh, uh, what, what we do is offer support contracts to our clients and they give us a, a chunk of money to provide them with support on a, an annual basis. This field is where we renew the date at which that renewal is due. So ordinarily we'd, uh, we'd want to trigger emails and perhaps phone calls to the client around that time to try and get them to renew. But what Smart Tasks does is automatically distribute those emails and trigger those activities um, so that we don't actually have to do anything. The system takes care of all this for us. So in order to set that up it's just a case of going up to the schedule menu and now you can see we've got manage smart tasks. There's an extra option in the list. Now here's the smart tasks panel. There are a few options already in there but you can see there's a big button here new smart task. So it allows, allows me to uh, name my task. I'm just going to call it renew support and you can include a description there if you want to that uh, reminds you and your colleagues what the purpose of this particular smart task is and then below that what type of record the system is going to be looking at in this case it's contacts rather than opportunities because of course I've got my support contract renewal field on the contact record now you can either run this manually or at a scheduled time and I think this is the real value of smart tasks the fact that you can automate business process save your own time and just let the system take over and I want this to run every week on um, let's say a, a Thursday morning, Friday morning at uh, 11 a.m. and down in the bottom here you can see we've got uh, a facility to set the criteria we're telling smart tasks now what to look for within the app database and we do that by the uh, using the smart task criteria uh, query analyzer that uh, app users will be familiar with from advanced lookups and the group dynamic membership criteria it's just a simple logic based operator so within the contact screen I'm going to ask the system to look at the support contact renewal date field for all records where that date falls within the next 30 days let's say. Click OK and now you can see I've got a summary of what my smart task is going to be looking for. So renewal uh, for support is going to run every week on a Friday morning at 11 o'clock on all contact records where the support contract renewal date is within the next 30 days. So you can see now I've added a new smart task to my system called Renew Support and here on the right hand side I can start to build the event, determine what actually takes place when this particular process runs. So click here to add a step. The first thing I want to do is to send an email. Now I've created a swift page email template just called Renewal uh, that I want to be triggered to go to that particular contact uh, when the support event becomes due. So uh, I'm going to say send e-marketing email. Now this is going to use my Swift page account or my act e-marketing account. And this is the first step in the process. And I'm going to give this step a name. So send renewal email reminder, I'll call it. Now I created a Swift page template called renewal. You can see it's remembered that. It was the last one I used. But of course I could go into my Swift page library and use any of my HTML templates that I might have created uh, for other purposes. What's the subject line of that renewal? I'll just put in your act support contract is due for renewal and I'm just going to click OK and basically that's it. The, the step is complete. Now I think what would be a good idea is uh, maybe a couple of days after I've sent that email to ask one of my salespeople to make a follow-up call to the client. So let's just go to add another stage to the event. Maybe a time delay this time. Let's delay for two days and then we're going to add another stage of the process. Two days later I'm going to schedule an ACT activity and this is pretty much a straightforward ACT activity scheduling operation here so people that are familiar with ACT again will recognize most of the features here. Um, I want this to automatically schedule an activity without prompting the user 
and uh, I'll give it a name schedule activity to follow uh, up support renewal and I want that to occur uh, immediately when it's triggered which will be as mentioned two days after the email has been sent out um, I suppose nine o'clock in the morning will be fine and who's the activity going to be triggered against well it'll be triggered against the contact uh, whose support contract is due for renewal obviously I can put in the regarding line a, a statement if I wish to announce to the user the act user in my business what this thing is all about um, or a simple instruction call client to follow up on renewal email let's say uh, and maybe set a ring alarm if I want to and you can see down in the bottom right hand corner this will schedule it for the the smart task user or whoever's scheduled this task or, or the record owner as it were so click OK and effectively that's my task process created I've got two stages really separated by a delay and that's the smart task so what that's going to do is automatically kick in and run but uh, what I could do is just to show you how it works so if I go to run a smart task at the current time so run smart task these are the various tasks I've got set up here's my support renewal I'm just going to run it against the existing record here of course this would be automated as a procedure and I wouldn't have to intervene in the process at all any emails that I schedule to go out would just be automatically delivered uh, and any activities that I wanted to schedule would just be automatically created. But you'll see if I uh, go to my email client now, I've got uh, a new uh, email that's arrived and this is using the template I created early on, just a straightforward one. Uh, so it's just saying, uh, hi Will, we hope you've enjoyed the support that Bluebird CRM has provided, etc, etc. And it's just an HTML email template from SwiftPage that's automatically delivered. And of course I've got some mail merge fields in there, bringing in, uh, oh, here we go, the name of the company and the name of the, uh, the contact. And of course the, uh, the mail merged date, 7th of September, which of course is the support renewal date there. Uh, and that's going to be uh, followed up in two or three days, I think two days after the uh, email was sent I set it to, didn't I? It's going to schedule an activity as well, so there's going to be a reminder popping up on screen to remind me to go and uh, make a call to follow up on the email and uh, hopefully maximise our chances of getting the support contract renewal. Smart tasks in uh, Sage Act 2011.